Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Deadcraft73. We're back here playing some Sevtex on 1.12 modded Minecraft. And man, oh man, do we have some work to do today. We got to jump in here and get started immediately. So the first thing I need to make is an export bus. And I think I probably have the stuff. Let's see. Let's make one of these. Um, hello? Oh, you will not even go in there. That's awesome. And then we should make this. Okay. So there's our export bus. Will that go in there? Yeah. So there's the export. Now, do we have some cable? Uh, no. So we need to make just some glass cable. I think we'll get the job done. We just need regular cable. Okay, can we make this? Oh, we need some of that stuff. We need this. Uh, can we make this? Okay, perfect. And we just want to make some of this. Uh, we don't need that much. That's probably going to be enough. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this export bus. And we're going to put that guy up there. Okay? And then we're going to run cable. Oh, no. Shift. We're going to run cable all the way over to, let's say, here, maybe. Okay? Yeah. As long as it's high enough in the air, it can uneven. I mean, we're going to make sure that we reach the distance with what we've got in our inventory. Because I don't want to make any more of this stuff. So let's just run this stuff. Uh, yeah, I've got to go all the way to the corner. And then we'll just bring it across the way here, like so. And we can go like that. Perfect. All right, now this guy should be online. Yeah, device online. Perfect. Now, all we need to do to make this uh, whole deal work the way we want to is get ourselves one piece of coal ore. And we're going to go up here to this guy. And we're going to put it in the filter. Okay? And then this guy should be dumping out coal ore left and right. I mean, it's going to be slow. And that's okay, uh, but because it doesn't need to be fast. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking coal ore out of our system over there. Yeah, slowly but surely. And we're going to export it from the storage system into this chest. It's going to hit this crusher. It's going to grind up. It's going to make some fuel, which it's making right now. Well, it would be nice to kind of get ahead a little bit, but I don't think we need to worry too much about it. And if we take a look here, you can see that we are currently gaining... Or we should be gaining yeah gaining sin gas okay so my ultimate goal is to have this thing clear full and a little bit of a backlog just in case things go kind of you know haywire or something i mean we got this all in here but this thing will be able to produce up to four or two thousand rf per tick and it's feeding into this power cell so we should be good to go there right you see we got like a pretty steady stream of coal. That's well, not really steady, but it's coming out. Also, our tree farm, we need to go check on that guy as well. How much coal do we have? Not very much. Now, let's sleep through the night. So we're not getting any solar power yet. So I was going to go and work on a tier 2 void ore miner, uh, but I think we're going to do something else. Uh, we've been sort of hanging around the base for a good bit of time. I think we need to go... Uh, on another space journey. And I think maybe today we're going to go to Mercury. I mean, why not? I think that might work. Let's go over here and see what our tree farm is doing. I have a feeling this guy is stopped. Hello. Get out of here, guy. Oh, where is our tree farm? Yeah, it appears to be all grown up, which is not ideal. Here, I'm going to grab some sticks. We just got to find our little minecart guy here. He's around here somewhere. Oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. <laughs> oh, I'm like bouncing all around. Yeah, I mean, that's really the only problem. We've never really set up a system where we can... Where is this cart? I don't know. How about we try to sneak in here a little bit and see what we can find. Where is this crazy cart? Now, one of you guys today, and I wish I could remember what your name was, and I'm sorry that I don't, uh, but one of you guys today said, Hey, man, I got this great idea. Uh, can't you use sticks in the coal for furnace? Can't you power your tree farm with sticks? And I'm pretty sure the answer to that question is yes. We're going to figure it out right now. There it is. Whew. 
getting a little nervous. All right, so we go in here. Let's load some sticks up. I mean, obviously, they're going to rip through this thing crazy fast. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome. I mean, so we can definitely get some fuel out of this thing. I mean, it's gonna, I don't even know if that's going to be enough. We have to get a process in place. I mean, part of me thinks that maybe our farm's a little bit too big. Oh my goodness, we're stuck in here forever. So we can't find a way to hack ourselves out. Okay. I mean, so everything seems to be working. Uh, it's just, man, we are... It's just fuel. Power is a constant problem for our little guy here. Where's the thing? Where is our, like, setup? Is it over on this side? I can't remember where we have it. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. So what's in here? Nothing and nothing. So we have to get this thing, this guy to come around here and unload the stuff. So I don't really know how we're going to handle this, how we're going to make this work. I mean, we have a little bit of item conduit, but I don't think that's going to be... Ah, eh, maybe. One, two... Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Hmm. That's okay. So what th what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to load, keep this thing running, I mean, at least for temporary purposes, on sticks. Now, that's not going to last very long because a stick doesn't burn very much, but, you know, if we can at least get some of these leaves chopped down, I mean, we might be okay. So um, that's just something that one of you guys suggested, and you're right. We just need to think of a way or find a way that we can constantly load that thing up with sticks as we're sort of rolling around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because our sin gas production is going to be primarily now based on uh, coal, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, oh, cool. So let's see what we can't find. Let's get our rocket set up here. This right here goes. So we need our launch pad. We need our fuel loader, which is always kind of like a weird, a weird setup. It's always like a pain to get this thing set up the right way. That is not the right way right there. How about this way? Yeah. Okay. All right, no, but that's not going to work either. Nope. So this has to go like like here maybe? Nope. Uh like here maybe? No. Dang it. All right, so we need to go maybe like here, maybe. No. That's power. How do we run power into this thing? MV wire. Do we not have any, um, like, wire? MV wire connectors, but we don't have any wire. That's not cool. So we got to get power into this guy. Uh, do we have any batteries that we can just do a little bit of something? Yeah, we can put this battery in there and let it charge up. Okay, and now we can lay down our launch pad. And I think this is going to work. Let's see. It feels like it's been forever since we've been going to space or we have gone to space. And put that guy down there. Okay. Now the question is... Is he getting fuel? G? Yes, he is. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, excellent. So that's working the way we want to. Now, the other thing we need to do while we're over here is we need to take a little visit to our wool farm. Right here. And we need to grab all of this wool. All right, we'll let it do a little bit more cutting. We need to get it, we gotta figure out how to handle that. Fluids, fluids. Hmm, I have an idea. I have an idea how we can fix that. I mean, I think we probably have we probably have enough wool. I still need to get it fixed though, so we might as well do that together before we go skating off to the wild blue yonder. Because hmm, who knows how this is going to work out for us? Okay, so let's go and get. There's like a trash can, right? Trash can. One of these guys. Fluid trash can. Can I just make this? Yeah. Okay, that's all I need. And then I need one of the... Okay, they're perfect. And I'm just going to uh, get rid of that milk. I don't think I can use it for anything. And even if I can, I don't think it's going to produce as, that much. Let me just make sure. Milk. What can we use milk for? Nope. 
So, so obviously, can I go here and do use on milk? Can I do use on this milk? So we can cook with it. We can make coffee with it. We can use it in the cauldron. Make a mob filter. Uh, we can make this mystical agriculture stuff. We're not there. Okay, so we don't really need tons of milk. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go up here. And we'll lay this guy here. And we'll just go like this. Alright, and then this guy. And I think we want it to go. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it goes. So I should be enough. If I can find my configurator, let's make sure that we switch this guy. To, oh, that was what we wanted. Fluids. Like that. And we should be able to go like this. Yeah. And then have this guy do like that. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially we're getting rid of all the milk that we have in there. We must have... I mean, it's slowly draining down, but it's also scanning our animals for more shearing opportunities. Okay. And while we're here, let's just go down and let's increase the population of our sheep a little bit. Let's go down here and grab some of this wheat. Might as well take care of some of these little, like, odds and ends things. Now that thing should actually run, like, forever. Right? Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there we go. Let's go up here. I think we have enough food to go to Mercury. I don't think we're going to need any more than this. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to do another one of these and get another buffalo. This guy is, like, in bad shape. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're back in business. Okay, so this guy should be shearing sheep. Yeah, taking care of business. Okay, perfect. Now we don't have to worry about that milk buildup in there anymore, and that's been taken care of. Okay, so let's go back over here, and let's see if we can't figure out something cool to do with all this wool that we just harvested. And here in a minute, you're going to figure out exactly what it is that we're going to do. We're going to just throw all that stuff in there. Good grief. Ah, yeah. Bang. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. Can we put, like, this, this, and this in here? Uh, that and that. Not that plant fiber stuff. Of course not. That'd be too easy. Uh, that could go in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Now, um, so if we're going to go to Mercury, we need to upgrade our, our long underwear that we have. So currently we're rolling around with thermal padding, right? That looks like this. We're going to need uh, tier three thermal padding, padding. So we need some compressed dash, and that's the uh, compressor from that. Okay. And we actually have dash. Let's get some dash. Do we have any compressed? We do. Okay. Perfect. I don't even know if that's enough, but that might be. Okay, so let's see. Thermal. Thermal. Can I put this in here? Yes, I can. Let me put all this wool in here just so it's gone. Can I put that in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so thermal. Let's go here and do it so it doesn't overwrite it. Thermal is tier two. So we need a bunch of this cloth right here, right? And this cloth is this cloth. And I guess we need, like, is it 24 pieces? Like that? Okay. How much wool do we have? Are we still good? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now thermal. Hmm. All right. So we need, we want to do this, and we need this, and that means it's like this. Okay, so we're going to actually need a ton of this stuff. Okay, right, and that should allow us to make the boots. Yeah, so we can go and make the boots now. So now we have our padded boots. Okay, so we're going to need five more of these. So let's see, can we just make like a stack of it? Yeah, that would probably be good. Okay, and then we need to make some of this. I wish that could go in there, but it can't. Okay, and we'll make... 
however many of these we can possibly make. There we go. And then we should be able to make the helmet. Okay. We might be able to make the legs. No, we can't make the legs. No, not these. These legs. Right? We want to make these legs. Okay. There's these legs. And then we want to make the chest piece, which we do not have enough pieces parts for. So we're going to have to make some more of this. Can we make another stack? Might as well. Right? Might as well. Okay. I really wish that could go in there. Like, if I take a couple little odds and ends out of here, <laughs> I bet we could get it done. Like, we have one block of erodium. We've got some random junk in here. I just want to be able to put this stuff in here. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just dump this into a chest. I'm going to fix this. Uh, I think maybe tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode, we have to spend at least, or maybe off camera, we got to at least increase a bunch. We need to put five more 4K or seven more 4K drives in here. We gotta try to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so anyway, thermal. So now we wanna make the chest piece. So we're gonna need seven more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we should be able to make this guy, right? Bang, okay, there we go. So now we have a new fancy set of long underwear to put on, and now we're gonna be blue. Can we see it? No, why not? Hey, why can't I see it? It's kind of a rip off. Huh, okay, well that's alright. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Okay, cool. So that is the first part. Uh, we also need to find, let's go look in here real quick. Let's put this set in here. Oh, we'll go in there, dang it. Thermal. Let's grab this and this. Do we have a item deal? An item f uh What's it called? Armor. Armor stand. We need one of these. What is this? Oak armor stand? No, let's just get one of these. Can we just make this? Can we make that? Yeah. Okay. And now we can make this. There we go. And we'll just stick this somewhere. Uh, let's stick it like... How about out here? We'll start lining these up, right? And we can go like that. Okay, maybe we can't do that. That kind of gets on my nerves. <laughs> why Why has it got to be like that? I don't know. I guess it's not really armor. It's like uh, an accessory piece or whatever. Okay, so now let's take a look here. Do we have any batteries in here? No, this is full, by the way. This is full. We have to... Oh, and are, what are these guys? Uh, this is almost full and this is empty. Okay. So let's find um, batteries. All right, one. Okay, there's three batteries right there. And we want to make sure that we fill these guys up. Uh, and then we're also, how are we doing for fuel? Do we have fuel? That's got fuel, that's got fuel. It's also nighttime, so let us get here. I'm a little nervous to go to Mercury, but I hear that there's good stuff hanging out over there. I guess we'll find out together. I've never been to Mercury, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then I need, let's go over here while we're down here and let's get our oxygen tanks filled up. They need to go into this thing here, right? So like this guy here, we'll get him filled up and then I'll dump this one in and then we're going to go charge up some batteries. I still can't remember where my fuel loader is. I, I, I want to say, I don't even know. I can never remember. Okay, that's full, and then this one needs to get full. All right, let's go back inside. We'll go upstairs. And then we're going to get these batteries charged up really quick. Just so we can fuel refuel our rocket uh, before we, so we can come home. Right, that's the goal. All right, let's go over here. Let's go here. Uh, I don't know where the charger is. I think it's over here. Or was that it down there? No, I think the charger's here. That's a methane, that's a compressor, atomic reconstructor. Oh, we can just throw it right in here. No, like this. Uh, 
doesn't really tell me, does it? That's okay. And this should give us plenty of power so we can do what we need to do. Okay. Will it show me what these guys... Yeah, okay. It shows me they're full. Okay, so I'm going to put these guys here, this one, and this one here. This guy is going to go on my person. And then we're going to get that other one and get it on my person as well. I also need to check the charge while I was up there. I should have done that, but we didn't. Let's see. This thing should be clear full now. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let's load this up on our body. And then spacesuit. Yeah, spacesuit's a little worse for wear. So let's go back up there on the charger and just get this thing taken care of. We also need to do a little bit of repair work. This guy is not unbreakable yet, so we need one of these. And we're gonna repair this guy because we might have to fight some mobs. Okay, let's get another one of those. Oh, not, not like three of them. Okay, and then this guy can repair that guy. Okay, perfect. All right, let's throw some stuff in here. This can go in there for sure. Uh, we'll put these wrenches, like our configurator and our smart wrench from RF Tools in there. So we have battery power now. We have fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, before we go all crazy, let's, oh, we're going to go up and charge this stuff. Let's get this stuff charged up quick. And then we're going to go to Mercury. Yeah, over here. Because I hear there might be the word on the street. I was talking to my friend Andrew today, and he was telling me that there might be some good stuff on Mercury that we need to get in the middle of. So let's get that charged up. This charged up. Make sure that's all the way charged up. I don't think that really exists. Uh, <laughs> this is a little strange. Uh, no, it doesn't. They're they're good. Just some weird things happen every once in a while with the way that this thing works. Not not the end of the world, that's for sure. Let's get this guy charged up. And then we're going to head to Mercury, and we're going to go do some sneaking around up there and see what we can find. Okay, that's filled up. Perfect. Let's take this off. Let's put this on. There we go. We have plenty of oxygen. Everybody should be happy. Uh, we just need to go down. Got food, we have weapons. Do we have any torches? Yeah, I don't know. They're not going to work on Mercury anyway, but that's okay. All right, so let's get over here to our rocket, uh, which is right here. Okay, and let's take this off, put this on, and put these guys away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I keep throwing that on the ground, which I don't want to do. That goes here. Okay. Okay. Um, I sure, sort of, before we go, and trust me, I'm not killing time. I'm just making sure we have all the stuff that we need to. Um, I'm going to need some kind of shovel, I have a feeling. So let me see what our shovel options are. I mean, I could make a Tinker's Construct one, but, you know, whatever. Shovel. All right, I just need something with some half-decent, like, durability. Can I make, like, an obsidian shovel? Obsidian. Yeah, that's what I need right here. Uh, shovel. Yeah, 8,000 durability on that thing. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go. Uh, actually, before we go, do I have any glowstone in here? I do. I want some glowstone torches. Did I make a stack? Yeah, okay. Just because these will work on, like, an airless environment, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go to uh, Mercury. And see what we can find kicking around up there. Hello, dog. Are you going to come up here and try to get yourself tore up? I didn't think so. Better be just hanging out down there, not causing any trouble. Okay. We have our fancy uh, armor. 
Tier 3 padding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're full. Oh, we're not full. Uh... Does it not have enough power to continue to fuel? Yeah, we have got to get some power straightened out here. That's probably going to be enough, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's grab ourselves real quick. Uh, we just need a piece of wire. I mean, we just need to get this thing filled up so we can go where we want to. So let's take a look here. Do we have MV wire by chance? We do. We have one piece of MV wire. We need one MV connector. All right, let's go. Let's go do this. Okay. So this guy is going to go here. Then we just need to find out where we can pull power down from. Is this going to be too far? I don't think it's going to want me to cross. I can almost promise you that's not going to work. Nope. Dang it. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we get it from here? Yes. Okay. Good enough. All right, now this thing should fill up the rest of the way. Let's hop in here and see. Yep, almost done. All right, there we go. We have our spacesuit on. We have our oxygen tanks on. We have our crazy stuff. Let's get out of here. Let's watch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm so excited. Going back to space. Space makes me really nervous. I'll tell you that right now. Um, oh, we just screwed up. That's ah, not a big deal. Maybe we should land on the moon. Yeah, we did screw up, didn't we? We forgot to bring our fuel loader. We were so excited to go. Now, the good thing about Galactic Craft, and I'll be honest with you, I've used it a time or two. There's like this abort mission. It's like, um, you know, like LC Houston or something like that. I might have to look up the command. Um, but it lets you get back home if you've made a mistake like this. But. I mean, I, I don't, I don't like to count on that, but okay. What is it? What does it require? Does it tell me tier three, and then we need padding, day length, eight hundred and twenty hours. Good grief. <laughs> okay. I mean, do we just go there, or do we go to the moon first and see if we can pick up our fuel loader if it's there? What are the chances of it being there? I'm just going to go to Mercury, and I'm going to cheat my way back home, okay? That's what we're going to do. So let's uh, launch our way. Not really cheat our way. We're going to use the, that like abort mission command. I'll pick up all the stuff that I need. Uh, it's not ideal, but, you know, it is what it is. I wish there was an easier way to load. Oh, hold space to slow down, okay? Okay, holding space. Getting it down to like approach velocity. We've got plenty of oxygen. I hope it's daytime. I don't see Mercury at all. I see some light. Is this Mercury here that we're sort of falling into? I guess maybe. Could be. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there's a village. Oh, I mean, it's nighttime. Dang it. Oh, there's something on the ground we might like to have. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Where's that village? Okay, it's not look at Enderman or anything. Alright, we're not going to go too far away. Mercury surface rock. That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, look how big the... the I can't tell what it's doing. <laughs> but we're going to sleep through the night if we can. Crazy Mercury spiders. Do I have my bedroll thing in here? Of course not. Do I have arrows? Oh my goodness, of course not. Idiot. 
And why are we always coming up here? I'm not sure exactly how crops can be grown in like an airless environment, but they are. are. I want to see what that is over there. But I, I don't know. Is it getting to be more daytime or more... I don't know. I can't really tell. That's really weird. It's cool. All right, I don't know what those little, like these little meteor things are that are kicking around, but I think we really want to find out. Okay, I can't tell if it's getting more daylight or less. Yeah, let's hit that there for just a second, and we'll see if it's getting larger or smaller. I want to say I believe the sun is rising. What do these villagers have for sale? Or not for sale, for trade. Oxygen gear. Fuel tank. Parachute. Battery. Canned food. Basic wafer. Tier 2 rocket schematic, moon buggy, compressed copper, compressed tin, and one of those. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we've, we're here. We might as well go out and start scouting around a little bit. I mean, I can't tell if the mobs are despawning. I mean, there's lots of endermen around and creepers. I mean, obviously nothing's burning. I can't believe we... We left arrows and our fuel loader back at the base. I mean, I should I should realize that that's what something that we have, we would have done because I have been known to make like mistakes in the past. <laughs> All right, let's go up here and let's break down our lander. Okay, we got that. I think, it, I think it is getting more daytime. All right, let's at least see what we got here. So what is this? This is block of desh. That's cool. All right, we can certainly use that. We don't really need it, but what I, I found, I heard through the grapevine that there may be some meteoric iron around here somewhere. There's also some pretty cool caves. So we certainly, oh, um, it doesn't really matter where because we're going to use that command to get ourselves back home. Let me see if I can find anything good. Let's just go roaming around a little bit. Oh man, that makes me mad. I wish we had brought our fuel loader. Then it would have, we would have, our trip to Mercury would have certainly been legit. But that's okay, because uh, if we have to end up going back home, we're just going to go back home, and then we'll take it from there. I want to increase my oxygen capabilities anyway, just because I think that would be a good thing. Um, in my deal, do I have the dungeon finder guy? I do. Okay. No spawner in range. Well, we might as well just go lurking around here and see what we can find. I'm looking for some more, like, ore deposits. Desh is not ideal because we have stacks on stacks of it. At least I think we do. I mean, if we don't, we can always come back here. So let us go and look around. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. No spawners in range. I'll take some fall damage. Okay. I mean, I don't necessarily think it matters what direction we go. We just need to go in a direction. This terrain is pretty, pretty hardcore to run around on, that's for sure. Not that it's too much problem. I mean, there's not really that many mobs. It, I mean, it's, it's got Endermen, but we're not looking at them, so... What do we care? If I could find some Meteoric Iron, that would make me so happy. That's the whole reason we were doing that crazy, like, that deal. <laughs> Where we were mining the um, asteroids, trying to get meteoric iron. Because if we're going to upgrade our rocket ship to a higher level, oh. okay, oh, like that. Okay, no 
have spawners in range. If we're going to upgrade our rocket ship, we're still going to have to... Um, we're going to need tons of that meteoric iron stuff. We don't have an arrow, do we? I can't believe we don't have an arrow. It's so dumb. Man, it's no joke, the length of these days. Man, they go on forever. Yeah, going into a dungeon, even if we find one without the proper, without arrows. I mean, if I could kill one of these guys and he could give me an arrow, that would solve a lot of my problems. He gave me a bone. Okay. There's a hole down here. I think we should go down and investigate. Wow, those guys uh, make a huge crater in the ground when they explode. Oh my goodness. All right, what is this stuff down in here? Mercury iron ore. All right, let's get our, let's get, uh, move this and put this here for now. All right, let's get some torches going. more iron. Is that all this is? Just a hole in the ground? No, it keeps going. Okay. It feels super dark. Okay, well that wasn't too exciting. I mean, we could grab some of this mercury iron ore if we wanted to. I and mean, that's tin. Okay. I mean, that's not really that exciting though, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anything this way, or is this just like a dead end? Oh, well, maybe. Let's see. Maybe we can mine this stuff. Okay. We don't know if what that what that buys us if it's just like regular ore or not. I mean, we don't need any ores. I mean, we're good. Our void ore miners taking care of all that business for us. Okay, um, let's get out of here. All right, and let's go up this way. Yeah, it's certainly getting to be nighttime, so I mean that's not ideal for us. But whatever, it is what it is. I'd like to find some deposits of some cool stuff. Just bones. Okay. So let's see. See, so we got like some light spots on our map. Let's go over and see what those guys are. That's like some fluid. I'm pretty sure that's not water. Infected water. Okay. Well, let's not go in there. <laughs> All right. I know we're getting long in this episode, but I just want to do a little bit more exploring. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. We're definitely going to be spending a little bit of time here on Mars. we got to find a dungeon if we can. Nothing in range. I can't get over. I mean, that makes sense that, that the sun would be, like, huge in the sky. I would assume this is more desh. Yeah, blocks of desh. Whatever. We don't need that. We can mine it if we really needed to. But I heard that there are... There's meteoric iron around here somewhere. In some of these things. That's more desh. There's assume more over there, too. No spawners in range. Hmm, it kind of irritates me. Um, we spent all that time and effort making sure we were so prepared, and then we just jumped in our deal. 
and took off. Without bringing ourselves our our deal with us. Okay, let's just take a peek over here, and then if we can't find anything, we're gonna call it. I'm gonna go back to home. I'm gonna get myself ready to go. I mean, that looks like bedrock down there. Maybe that's like a rock. Do we want to go see? That might just be bedrock, but let's go see because man, that might be some 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 something something cool that we definitely need. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. It's a big hole in the ground. I think it's just bedrock. Yeah, so it appears to be. Yeah, just bedrock. Let's see what's in here. These torches aren't very effective, are they? Yep, yeah, not a whole lot going on down in here. That's copper, that's carbon. Carbon ore. Carbon ingot. Which makes what? Tier four. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need some of that stuff. All right. Well, we'll have to see if we can't. If we see any more, I'm gonna to have to mine it. Obviously now. <gasps> okay. There's Enderman down there. This is a big old cave. You're dead. <laughs> Alright, cool. We have to find a dungeon. Nope, none in range, though. Okay. Okay. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. Uh, we're going to call the episode right there. I mean, we've already gone over more than I wanted to. Here's some more of that carbon stuff. We're definitely going to have to mine that. kill this guy so he's not causing us trouble. Any case, let me just mine this real quick. Okay, nice. Anyway, I mean, I think we're good to go. I think we uh, we've made ourselves a trip to Mercury, which was uh, uh, good, except for the fact that we didn't bring ability to fuel our rocket to get back home. So we're gonna come back next time. We're gonna find a Mercury dungeon. We're gonna fight the Mercury boss. I don't know what it is. We're gonna figure out what needs to go from there, and we're gonna get, keep making some progress because now we've got our power kind of settled in. I think we're in good shape. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time. Please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my Septech series where, man, we might be stranded on Mercury forever. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.